Hi y'all, I want to do a quick update video since I got off the trail in Vermont and came home. Uh, I did call my cardiologist, talked about my heart. They did put a heart monitor on me that I'm wearing now. Um, they want me to try to duplicate the problem that I had on trail. So I actually went for a hike today and everything went well, so that's good. A couple things I learned on trail, uh, electrolytes. Uh, I did use uh, Vitality product, immune booster electrolyte um what the lesson learned here is i should have used it multiple days or weeks before i actually hopped on the trail it didn't actually agree with my stomach um it actually kind of made me nauseous at times so i'm not sure what what's in it that that caused that maybe too much potassium too much magnesium or, or whatever but uh use a product before you go on trail and you'll be a lot safer secondly um friction defense it's sort of like Glide, but it's made by Gold Bond. Uh, outstanding product, it worked really well. I had no problems with chafing at all. Highly recommend it. Compression socks. Uh, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods, got some compression socks. They actually worked really, really well. My calves didn't hurt, ache, cramp, or anything. I was really impressed with the product. Um, and I'm, I'll use them on every hike going forward. Uh, also, uh, the next thing is um, a trail map. I have the Vermont section the trail map from National Geographic. I definitely recommend carrying something on, of paper. Uh, gut hooks is fantastic. I'll throw a picture of gut hooks up uh, later on. But uh, gut hooks doesn't give you what's surrounding you. It kind of just gives you what what the trail is. I mean, gut gives you every information that's right on the trail, and you know even comments of where to stay in a shelter, where to stay in town, uh, water sources. But this the map actually shows you you know where you're at, what's nearby mountains, what are nearby towns and cities and stuff like that. So it, it gives you a little bit more detail. And if your battery runs out and you're not able to use your phone or your iPad or whatever way you're using gut hooks, then this will definitely come in handy. Next thing and the last thing uh, I want to talk about, well, well, two things actually. So I bought a Z-Pax food storage bag and I obviously I hung it in case of bears. Um, but <laughs> the big concern was that either the chipmunks or the squirrels, uh, they chewed a hole right through the upper part and they chewed a hole down here. Uh, they must have got in this way because uh, my bag that had all my dried fruit and my nuts in it, it they ate right through that bag and went in and, and got all, no, not all my nuts, but did, a, did some damage on it. And, you know, the bottom of my bag was covered with, with a mouse or chipmunk poop or whatever. Um, I would highly recommend getting a rodent-proof bag. As, as well as, you know, combination bear slash rodent. Uh, this was okay. I hung it every night. Um, but obviously the rodents come down, cross the tree limb, down the rope, and they sit on the bag and they just chew all night until they can get in. So uh, definitely recommend a rodent-proof bag. And lastly, um, I would recommend in the morning time, pack, up, pack your lunch that you're going to have for the day and put it either on the side of your pack or on the top of your pack. Uh, the food bag being the heaviest product in your backpack, most likely, you kind of, weight distribution, you put it down in the middle and lower part of your pack. You, re you really don't wanna be, you know, eight miles or lunchtime on your hike and have to pull everything out to get to your lunch bag. So I would, re would recommend that during breakfast, put what you're gonna have in the lunch in a bag, put it in the top of your pack or side of your pack, it's very quick access um, to get it, and you don't have to totally tear apart your, your backpack. So basically, that's it. I had a great time in Vermont. Um, hopefully, everything's good with my heart. I'm going to keep on pushing on. But thanks for watching, um, and that'll do it. Take care. Have a good night.